we're going to look at how to make a grouped product. Grouped products are great ways that you can offer a product that might have a, the same sort of description but offer different variations of that product. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create another book listing product, but this time we're going to create a listing that has both an ebook option and a regular option for the book. I'm going to start off by adding my product and I'm going to give the product a name and we're going to add a description as well as a short description and I'm going to add a product image. Once I've added in the details about the product I'm going to go to product data and I'm going to choose grouped product. A grouped product is a product that has one parent product and many children products. So this is a great option if you're going to have different variations of a specific product. It would work well if you were selling for instance hard drives and you had different sizes of the hard drives. For our purposes here we're going to be selling a book and we're going to have different options of the book both an ebook and a physical version of the book. So what we're setting up here is our parent product or a grouped product. Once I select a grouped product from the drop down menu you'll notice that some of the options in the product data are going to disappear. The tabs for general and shipping are two of the tabs that disappear. There's certain other changes that are going to occur in the additional tabs as well. If you recall from when we created a simple product, there were different options that were available in our inventory tab. You can see that the only option I have here is the SKU number and the stock status. This just determines whether the parent product is in stock or out of stock. You still have options for linked products, attributes, and advanced, and we'll come back to these. In order to complete our grouped product, we're going to have to create some additional simple products so that we can complete the grouped product. I'm going to do that next. I'm going to make sure that my product has been saved or updated, and I'm going to add several new products. What we're doing now is we're creating the child products. These are products that are going to be part of our grouped product. In order for the child product to exist, I'm going to have to have a title for the product. The description is going to be inherited from the parent product, so I'm going to leave that blank. Down in the product data section, I'm going to want to make sure that this is a simple product. We're going to list the price of this product, and because this product is going to be downloadable and virtual, I'm going to make checkboxes here since this is the ebook version of my product. Just like when we made the downloadable product earlier, I'm going to have to link to the actual product. So I'll do that now. I'm going to set my download limit, and you would set any of the additional options that you would normally set when you make a downloadable product. The next thing that's going to be important is we're going to have to set this product to be a child of its parent product. To do that we're going to go to link to products. And from the option for grouping, I need to select my parent product. Now it doesn't add a drop down menu so you're going to have to start to write the first characters of the product. So you, here you can see that I have the Hello Cupcake cookbook, which I'm going to select as the parent product. The last thing I want to do for my child product is I'm going to go up to the upper right hand pane where it says publish and I'm going to change the catalog visibility. I don't want this product to be visible unless it is under the parent product. So I'm going to click edit and I'm going to make this product hidden. When I do this, this product is not going to show up listed as one of the regular products. It'll only be available under the parent product. I'm going to click publish and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add one more product. This is going to be the physical version of the product. I'm going to go down into the simple product data and add a price. This product is going to have a different price. Under linked products I'm going to set the grouping for the product again here's the Hello Cupcake parent product so I'll select that and I'm going to leave the rest of the fields blank in regards to short description and long description since they are exactly the same. 
I will, however, go up to the Publish settings, and under the Catalog Visibility, I'm going to have this product be hidden as well. Now I'm going to click Publish. If we go into the product page of our WooCommerce website, you can see that here I have the Hello Cupcake Cookbook. I also have the ebook that we just created and the hard copy of the book as well. We're going to go back into the Hello Cupcake Cookbook, and it's worth noting that you can already see that this product has a variation in price. We never entered prices for this product. The prices are getting picked up for those linked children products that we had added. I'll click Edit to go into this product. I'm going to add categories. So this is going to be categorized under Cookbook and Cupcakes, and I'm going to add my product tags. Everything else that we want to have specified has already been set, so I'm going to update this parent product, and then we'll go back to the front end portion of our website. If I go to my shop page, you can see that now we have a Hello Cupcake cookbook. The prices listed are of varied values. If we go ahead and click on this to get into the product details, you can see that it's going to have our short version of the product. It also has the option to add either the ebook or the hard copy or multiple numbers of each of those items. And if we scroll down we can see it contains our SKU, our categories, our tags, and then the long product description. So in this way you can group products together in a way that makes sense and this is an excellent choice for when you want to have products that are similar to each other but you might want to offer some sort of variety to your customer. The advantage of removing the child products and having them be hidden is that in your actual store area it's not going to list multiple products. If we had not chosen the hidden option those other products would be listed here as well which we don't want to include. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the Cake My Day product and also make it a grouped product. I'll go ahead and do that quickly as well. I'm going to go back to my regular products and I here I have my Cake My Day cookbook. I'm going to go ahead and click Edit and to be consistent I should have made this one word so I'll update that. I'm going to go ahead and make this a grouped product. You can see that once I do that the details about the prices disappear everything else is going to remain the same so I'm going to click update. Now at this point if you go back to the front end portion of your site and you click on the product you can see that there is no price. If I try to purchase this product there's no way that I can add this product. As a grouped product all it does is kind of create that shell that the children products need to live in. So in order to have the child products showing I need to go ahead and create them as well. I'll go into my add product button and I'm going to add the options for the Cake My Day ebook. And I'll go ahead and specify that I want the catalog visibility to be hidden. This is going to be virtual and downloadable. It's just going to have a regular price of $10. I'm going to specify my downloadable file. So we had already done this in the regular version, but since I made that a grouped product, we need to update these things to the new child product. And those are the only options that I need to set here. I'm going to publish this and then I'll add the hard copy version of this book as well. I'm going to add the price and again turn the visibility to be hidden. And under linked products I need to search for the parent product. I forgot to do that on the Cake My Day ebook so I'll have to set that as well. Let me publish this first and then I'll go back to my General Products tab and find the Cake My Day ebook. We'll edit this and I'll make sure that the linked product is set to the product that I want to be the parent product. At this point if I refresh the cookbook page you can see that the Cake My Day is also listed with a variety of pricing and if I click view products and go into the details I have the option to add the ebook or the hard copy of the book. Hopefully you'll find grouped products useful and help to make your website less redundant when listing products that you want to sell.